Hello everybody and thank you for joining tonight. This is your host Nino after quite an awful cold from which I am still recuperating. So forgive if my voice sounds a little strange still, but I hope that tonight's experiment shall most properly distract you from these little details. For tonight we shall be fusing antiquity with modernity and we shall be controlling this laptop which I regard as reasonably modern though admittedly it is of teenage age through punch cards and I shall explain a little bit the setup and then we shall run the experiment. So essentially we shall be controlling a locally run Lisp interpreter on the machine and the punch cards themselves contain a definition of a factorial function, right? And <laughs> so basically that's the factorial definition over here nothing too unusual and in the end we shall be demanding it to deliver the factorial of 66 and that as I say without using the keyboard and merely using punch cards all right now how do we get that information into that machine well for the purpose I am using this self-devised punch card reader which essentially is a series of lamps shining onto a series of uh, photodependent resistors so as the punch card is traveling through this device it is going to be changing the resistance locally which is being picked up by an Arduino Uno over the um, analog pins so that way the holes in the punch cards are detected and turned into characters which the Arduino Uno in turn is sending to the Linux laptop which in turn is recognizing this as characters that it shall be controlling Lisp with now the command for doing so is to be seen over here so we are using socat now that's a sort of a relative of netcat if you will and just as you're having cat which is dumping some sort of file onto standard output socat is a more flexible version where it is dumping something onto something and that is not confined simply to standard output and so forth so what it is doing in this case is it is essentially dumping the Lisp interpreter onto device TTY USB 0 the first serial port at 9600 baud and so on so that makes makes the serial port which is reflecting the characters from the Arduino be connected to the Lisp interpreter itself. Now there is a little detail we should look at, namely that I'm dumping everything onto standard error. Every character which is arriving from the serial port will go to the T command and the T command is going to split the input and dump it onto standard error so we will be seeing it here and then the standard input will be channeled to the ECL Lisp interpreter which in turn again is dumping its standard output into standard error again so we can see what is happening otherwise these two friends will be happily chatting but we will not be seeing what is occurring and therefore we need to dump onto standard error in order to be able to follow the procedure which is happening internally at the Lisp interpreter and really that's all there is to it now when I press enter I will be establishing that connection 
and we will be running the experiment defining a factorial so you see lisp has started and now we shall be defining a factorial and are running it on the number 66 all right so these are three punch cards let's start with the first one and here you can see it already accepting the characters from the punch card into the lisp system second one oh, that one's a bit tricky All right. In case you wonder, of course, the cards have not been strictly punched because evidently I don't have a punch. Instead, this has been the patient work of myself with a scalpel. the factorial function has been defined and now it is triggered and that's it all right don't pay attention to that i had a bit of an um, exit code which did not work for this interpreter but let us scroll a bit up yeah this variable h actually is a control d but it didn't interpret it correctly that does not matter though changes nothing in our experiment for our experiment got us so far we got the factorial function then we demanded the factorial of 66 and got a reply my unsuccessful exiting of this particular interpreter shall not serve to denigrate the correct result we achieved from running the factorial of 66 on this laptop by way of punch cards so that is it for this episode in the next episode expect a world first in my reasonable opinion and understanding uh, nobody else will have been trying what we shall be doing then namely doing this experiment but not locally and instead controlling a cloud environment through punch cards and until then i hope you will be having a great time i hope to greet you here as a regular guests in the future i wish you a wonderful evening and from me goodbye